James Hugh Callum Laurie, OBE, born June 11, 1959, known professionally as Hugh Laurie, slash Jewelry slash, is an English actor, writer, director, musician, and comedian. He first became known as one half of the Fry and Laurie double act with his friend and comedy partner Stephen Fry, whom he joined in the cast of A Bit of Fry and Laurie, Blackadder and Jeeves and Worcester in the 1980s and 1990s. From 2004 to 2012, he played Dr. Gregory House, the protagonist of House, for which he received two Golden Globe Awards, two Screen Actors Guild Awards, and six Emmy nominations. He was listed in the 2011 Guinness World Records as the most watched leading man on television and was one of the highest paid actors in a television drama, earning £250,000, $409,000, per episode in-house. Laurie was born in Oxford, Oxfordshire. The youngest of four children, he has an older brother named Charles Alexander Lyon Mundell Laurie and two older sisters named Susan and Janet. He had a strained relationship with his mother, Patricia, nay late law. He notes that his mother was Presbyterian by character, by mood, and that he was a frustration to her, she didn't like me. His father, William George Ranald Mundell Laurie, was a doctor who also won an Olympic gold medal in the Coxless Piers, rowing, at the 1948 London Games. Laurie's parents, who were of Scottish descent, attended St. Columbus Presbyterian Church of England, now United Reformed Church, in Oxford. He notes that belief in God didn't play a large role in my home, but a certain attitude to life and the living of it did. He followed this by stating, pleasure was something that was treated with great suspicion, pleasure was something that I was going to say it had to be earned but even the earning of it didn't really work. It was something to this day, I mean, I carry that with me. I find pleasure a difficult thing, I don't know what you do with it, I don't know where to put it. He has stated, I don't believe in God, but I have this idea that if there were a God, or destiny of some kind looking down on us, that if he saw you taking anything for granted he'd take it away. Laurie was brought up in Oxford and attended the Dragon School from ages 7 to 13 and notes that he was, in truth, a horrible child. Not much given to things of a booky nature, he spent a large part of his youth smoking number 6 and cheating in French vocabulary tests. Laurie went on to Eton College, which he describes as the most private of private schools. He attributes his attending Selwyn College at Cambridge University, as a result of family tradition as his father went to Cambridge and I applied to the same college. Laurie notes his father had a successful bout as an oarsman at Cambridge and that he was trying to follow in his father's footsteps. He studied for a degree in archaeology and anthropology, specializing in social anthropology. A building in the Tudor style with a courtyard in front. Eton College. Laurie's alma mater. Like his father, Laurie was an oarsman at school and university. In 1977, he was a member of the junior coxed pair that won the British national title before representing Britain's youth team at the 1977 Junior World Rowing Championships. In 1980, Laurie and his rowing partner, J.S. Palmer, were runners up in the Silver Goblets Coxless Pairs for Eton Vikings Rowing Club. Later, Laurie also achieved a blue while taking part in the 1980 Oxford and Cambridge boat race. Cambridge lost that year by five feet. During this time, Laurie was training for up to eight hours a day and was on course to become an Olympic standard rower. Laurie is a member of Leander Club, one of the oldest rowing clubs in the world. He was also a member of the Hermes Club and the Hawks Club. Acting Career Forced to abandon rowing during a bout of glandular fever, mononucleosis, Laurie joined the Cambridge Footlights, the university dramatic club that has produced many well-known actors and comedians. There he met Emma Thompson, with whom he had a romantic relationship, the two remain good friends. She introduced him to his future comedy partner, Stephen Fry. Laurie, Fry, and Thompson later parroted themselves as the University Challenge representatives of Footlights College, Oxbridge in Bambi, an episode of The Young Ones, 
with the Series C O writer Ben Elton completing their team. In 1980-81, his final year at university, besides rowing, Laurie was also president of the Footlights, with Thompson as vice president. They took their annual review, The Cellar Tapes, to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival and won the first Perrier Comedy Award. The review was written principally by Laurie and Fry, and the cast also included Thompson, Tony Slattery, Paul Shearer, and Penny Dwyer. He states that he did not graduate from Cambridge. The Perrier Award led to a West End transfer for the Cellar Tapes and a television version of the review, broadcast in May 1982. It resulted in Laurie, Fry, and Thompson being selected, along with Ben Elton, Robbie Coltrane, and Siobhan Redmond to write and appear in a new sketch comedy show for Granada Television, Al Fresco, which ran for two series. Fry and Laurie went on to work together on various projects throughout the 1980s and 1990s. Among them were the Black Adder series, written by Ben Elton and Richard Curtis, starring Rowan Atkinson, with Laurie in various roles, but most notably Prince George and Lieutenant George. Other projects followed, of which one was their BBC sketch comedy series A Bit of Fry and Laurie, another project was Jeeves and Worcester, an adaptation of P.G. Wodehouse's stories, in which Laurie played Jeeves's employer, the amiable twit Bertie Worcester. He and Fry worked together at various charity stage events, such as Hysteria. 1, 2 and 3 and Amnesty International's The Secret Policeman's Third Ball, comic relief TV shows and the variety show Fry and Laurie host a Christmas night with the stars. They collaborated again on the film Peter's Friends and came together for a retrospective show in 2010, titled Fairy and Laurie Reunited. Laurie starred in the Thames television film Letters from a Bomber Pilot, 1985, directed by David Hodgson. This was a serious acting role, the film being dramatized from the letters home of pilot officer J.R.A. Bob Hodgson, a pilot in RAF Bomber Command, who was killed in action in 1943. Laurie appeared in the music videos for the 1986 single Experiment 4 by Kate Bush, and the 1992 Annie Lennox single Walking on Broken Glass in British Regency period costume alongside John Malkovich. In 1998, Laurie had a brief guest starring role on Friends in the One with Ross's Wedding. Laurie's later film appearances include Sense and Sensibility, 1995, adapted by and starring Emma Thompson, the Disney live-action film 101 Dalmatians, 1996, where he played Jasper, one of the bumbling criminals hired to kidnap the puppies, Elton's adaptation of his novel Inconceivable, Maybe Baby, 2000, Girl from Rio, the 2004 remake of The Flight of the Phoenix, and the three Stuart Little films. Since 2002, Laurie has appeared in a range of British television dramas, guest starring that year in two episodes of the first season of the spy thriller series Spooks on BBC One. In 2003, he starred in and also directed ITV's comedy drama series 40-something, in one episode of which Stephen Fry appears. In 2001, he voiced the character of a bar patron in the Family Guy episode 1 If by Clam, 2 If by C. Laurie voiced the character of Mr. Wolf in the cartoon Preston Pig. He was a panelist on the first episode of Chi, alongside Fry as host. In 2004, Laurie guest starred as a professor in charge of a space probe called Beagle, on The Lenny Henry Show. Laurie's fame expanded to the American public in 2004, when he first starred as the acerbic physician specializing in diagnostic medicine, Dr. Gregory House in the popular Fox medical drama House. For his portrayal, Laurie assumes an American accent. Laurie was in Namibia filming Flight of the Phoenix and recorded the audition tape for the show in the bathroom of the hotel, the only place he could get enough light. While working on Flight of the Phoenix, Jacob Vargas operated the camera to shoot Laurie's audition tape for House. Laurie's American accent was so convincing that executive producer Brian Singer, who was unaware at the time that Laurie is British, pointed to him as an example of just the kind of compelling American actor he had been looking for. Laurie also adopted the accent between takes on the set of House, as well as during script read-throughs, 
although he used his native accent when directing the House episode Lockdown. Laurie also served as director for the episode The Seaward of the show's final season. Laurie was nominated for an Emmy Award for his role in House in 2005. Although he did not win, he did receive a Golden Globe in both 2006 and 2007 for his work on the series and the Screen Actors Guild Award in 2007 and 2009. Laurie was also awarded a large increase in salary, from what was rumored to be a mid-range five-figure sum to $350,000 per episode. Laurie was not nominated for the 2006 Emmys, apparently to the outrage of Fox Executives 26 but he still appeared in a scripted, pre-taped intro, where he parroted his house character by rapidly diagnosing host Conan O'Brien and then proceeded to grope him as the latter asked him for help to get to the Emmys on time. He would later go on to speak in French while presenting an Emmy with Dame Helen Mirren, and has since been nominated in 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, and 2011. Laurie was initially cast as Perry White, the editor of The Daily Planet, in Singer's film Superman Returns but had to bow out of the project because of his involvement in House. In July 2006, Laurie appeared on Inside the Actors Studio, where he also performed one of his own comic songs, Mystery, accompanying himself on the piano. He hosted NBC's Saturday Night Live, in which he appeared in drag in a sketch about a man, Kenan Thompson, with a broken leg who accuses his doctor of being dishonest. Laurie played the man's wife. In August 2007, Laurie appeared on BBC Four's documentary Stephen Fry, 50 Not Out, filmed in celebration of Fry's 50th birthday. In 2008, he took part in Black Adder Rides again and appeared as Captain James Biggs in Street Kings, opposite Keanu Reeves and Forrest Whitaker, and then in 2009 as the eccentric Drive Cockroach, PhD in DreamWorks Monsters vs. Aliens. He also hosted Saturday Night Live for the second time on the Christmas show in which he sang a medley of three-second Christmas songs to close his monologue. In 2009, Laurie returned to guest star in another Family Guy episode, Business Guy, parodying Gregory House. In 2010, Laurie guest starred in The Simpsons' Treehouse of Horror XXI as Roger, a castaway who is planning a murder scheme on a ship during Homer and Marge's second honeymoon. On February 8, 2012, Fox announced that season 8 of House would be the last. On June 13, 2012, it was announced that Laurie was in negotiations to play the villain in Robocop, a remake of the original Robocop film. These negotiations ultimately fell through and Laurie passed on the project. In 2012, Laurie starred in an independent feature called The Oranges that had a limited release. The New York Post felt that he was less than ideally cast in the role of a dad who has an affair with his neighbor's daughter, played by Leighton Meester. The Star Ledger, Newark, New Jersey, thought that he was particularly good. He is scheduled to play David Nix, the villain, on Brad Bird's next film Tomer Roland. Music career Laurie took piano lessons from the age of six. He sings and plays piano, guitar, drums, harmonica, and saxophone. He has displayed his musical talents throughout his acting career, most notably on A Bit of Fry and Laurie, Jeeves, and Worcester, House and when he hosted Saturday Night Live in October 2006. He is a vocalist and keyboard player for the Los Angeles charity rock group Band from TV. Additionally, following Meatloaf's appearance in the House episode Simple Explanation, Laurie played piano as a special guest on the song If I Can't Have You from Meatloaf's 2010 album Hank Cool Teddy Bear. Laurie Seo wrote and performed the humorous blues song, Sperm Test in the Morning, in the film Maybe Baby. On House, Laurie played several classic rock and roll instruments including Gibson Flying V and Le Paul guitars. His character has a Hammond B3 organ in his home and on one episode performed the introduction to Prockle Harem's classic Whiter Shade of Pale. Laurie appears as a scientist slash doctor in the pop video to accompany Kate Bush's song Experiment 4. On July 26, 2010, 
it was announced that Laurie would be releasing a blues album after signing a contract with Warner Brothers. Records The album, called Let Them Talk, was released in France on April 18, 2011 and in Germany on April 29. The album features collaborations from well-known artists such as Tom Jones, Irma Thomas, and Dr. John. On May 1, 2011, Laurie and a jazz quintet closed the 2011 Cheltenham Jazz Festival to great acclaim. On May 15, 2011, Laurie was the subject of the ITV series Perspectives, explaining his love for the music of New Orleans and playing music, from his album Let Them Talk, at studios and live venues in the city itself. He was the subject of PBS Great Performances Let Them Talk, also about New Orleans jazz, first broadcast on September 30, 2011. His second album, Didn't It Rain, was released in the UK on May 6, 2013. In the same year he played at the RMS Queen Mary together with his band. This concert was filmed and later released as Live on the Queen Mary on DVD and Blu-ray. Writing In 1996, Laurie's first novel, The Gun Cellar, an intricate thriller laced with Wada Houseian humor, was published and became a bestseller. He has since been working on the screenplay for a film version. His second novel, The Paper Soldier, was scheduled for September 2009, but has yet to appear. Personal Life Laurie's mother, Patricia, née Laidlaw, died from motor neurone disease in Oxfordshire at the age of 73 in 1989, when Laurie was 30. According to Laurie, it took her two years to die, and she suffered painful, plotting paralysis while being cared for by Laurie's father, whom he called the sweetest man in the whole world. Laurie married theatre administrator Joe Green in June 1989 in Camden, London. They live in Belsize Park, North London with sons Charlie and Bill and daughter Rebecca. They had planned to move the whole family to Los Angeles in 2008 due to the strain of being mostly separated for nine months each year, but ultimately decided against it. Charlie had a cameo in A Bit of Fry and Laurie in the last sketch of the episode entitled Special Squad, as baby William. Stephen and Hugh begin to interrogate him about what he's done with the stuff, calling him a scumbag and telling him that he's been a very naughty boy. While Rebecca had a role in the film wit as five-year-old Vivian Baring. Laurie's best friend is longtime comedy partner Stephen Fry, who was best man at his wedding and is godfather to his children. On May 23, 2007, Laurie received his award as an officer of the Order of the British Empire, OBE, to which he was appointed in the 2007 New Year Honours for his services to drama. While appearing on Inside the Actors Studio in 2006, Laurie discussed his struggle with severe clinical depression. He continues to receive regular treatment from a psychotherapist. He told host James Lipton that he first concluded he had a problem whilst driving in a charity demolition derby during which he realized that seeing two cars collide and explode in front of him caused him to be neither excited nor frightened, but bored. Boredom, he commented, is not an appropriate response to exploding cars. Laurie admires the writings of P.G. Wodehouse, explaining in a May 27, 1999 article in the Daily Telegraph how reading Wodehouse novels had saved his life. In a further interview in the Daily Telegraph Laurie confirmed his atheism. He is also an avid motorbike enthusiast. He has two motorbikes, one at his London home and one at his Los Angeles home. His bike in the United States is a Triumph Bonneville, his feeble attempt to fly the British flag. In March 2012 Laurie was made an honorary fellow of his alma mater Selwyn College. In June 2013 he was the guest on BBC Radio 4's Desert Island Discs. His choices included Joe Cocker, the Letter, Sister Rosetta Tharp, My Journey to the Sky, Randy Newman, Louisiana 1927, Professor Longhair, Go to the Mardi Gras, Sun House, Grinnin' in Your Face, Nina Simone, I Wish I Knew How It Would Be to Be Free, Lester Young Buddy Rich Trio, I Cover the Waterfront, and Van Morrison, Brown Eyed Girl. This was his second appearance on the show, 
having previously been a guest in 1996.